just because a product is going viral on the internet, it doesn't mean it's all it's cracked up to be. So it's time for a round of buzz or bust. And Dr. Botcher is going to give us a scoop on our first product. Well, the first product making the rounds is something called Color Match Foundation. And any of you who have seen this, it looks like magic, right? When you put it on, it starts out white and it's meant to match any skin tone. So you start it out like this, and the thought is that as you rub it in, it's going to sense your color and then gradually match to your color. So this is really making the rounds on social media, it's going viral, and it's also kind of having a moment because there are a number of manufacturers that promise it's going to match your tone so as you rub it in. it's meant to be a foundation. Correct, and so you can see as you rub it in and it starts out white, it just becomes more and more tan colored. Um, I think this is actually kind of a genius marketing gimmick, but I am going to call it a bust. The genius of this product from a marketing perspective right. is that it uses technology. And so what it is is it's micro-encapsulated pigments. It often has titanium dioxide, different types of iron oxides, which can be red and yellow and black, and they're meant to create a tan color. But usually what they're going for is that kind of medium tan that matches a lot of people, but might not work for you if you're really fair or really dark. So if it dark. matched your skin tone, great and a little yeah. bit of sun protection in there right yeah well the, the titanium dioxide will I mean, be a sun mineral protection. sun yeah. protection the mineral block and then they often will put a little mica in so that it scatters light and you get a little bit more of that airbrush look but but my kind of like the thing that I think is so funny about this is it really only ever ends up one color it's a tan and what makes people feel it's matching their colors because it starts out mine. white and then it changes and so as you look at it you're like oh my gosh it's matching me but it really is just changing from white so, to tan, so it, and it's not really I mean, if you, any one person. So it may no, not, pleasant. but not for everybody. Correct, yeah. Okay. So, so the, the gimmick aspect of this is the fact that it you put it on white and then it gradually evolves, but what you're doing is you're breaking up those micro-encapsulated pigment particles, and so creating the actual color. But it ends up being the same color no matter what. <laughs> exactly. Doesn't so you quite and match. I Doesn't have quite the match. same shade. Yeah. So it's a bust in that regard. Drewski. Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you have, big fella? Bust well, or bust? What do we got? Well, could cocoa be the cure to your cough? Well, I don't know. I've according, had a cough lately, according so. According to the headlines tell me it's so. about a new study, it just might be. So this is a, a study that came out of England, found that a compound in cocoa works better at suppressing a cough than anti-cough medications. So the way that they theorize would work, that it coats those nerve endings somehow, adheres to the nerves that get irritated to make you cough, so it suppresses the cough. Yeah, but what was so interesting about this study was it was published in the British Medical Journal, and they were actually just trying to see if any over-the-counter cough medicines worked. They were trying to find the data, and the ingredient in one of these was something called coca-derived dem, it's demyl scent, and it's basically a coating agent derived from cocoa, but the headline read, cocoa is great for your cough. So, so people started eating chocolate, and they, so, they're really kind of so not the, understanding it's, it's a kind of derivative or a part of the cocoa that's being used in so this So the headline was totally misleading. Correct, yes. On that note, this is a bust. <laughs> but I do think it highlights something which I've always found interesting, which is there are so many products on the market as a cough remedy, and so many of them, quite frankly, when you study them, are worthless. It's unfortunate, but true, but hey, what I like, tea, little hot, warm, I'll say warm. A little warm tea with a little honey, honey. in it. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and for me, Good old because kitchen. I can't have this segment be such a bust, this is a buzz.